Hello, everybody. This is going to be a quick demo on how to get going on the Divine Lines extension. So after you've cloned uh, your repo and imported the project, you'll see that you have a source folder. Inside of that source folder is a package for each of the extensions, including Divine Lines, which has uh, two, pro two Java files in it. One is Interactive Lines. We'll run this in a second where we can draw, uh, we can uh, specify two points and it'll draw a line between them. And then uh, the lines.java where you're going to actually build draw line. And this is where you're going to do all your work. You're going to build a recursive algorithm to um, draw a line. And uh, you may want to build a helper method or whatever, but it's all going to start here. And so um, it's going to be, we can run this program. There's a main, it does a bunch of things. It draws a bunch of lines. And if we run it right now as a Java application, you'll see nothing happens. And that makes sense because um, we're calling draw line over and over again, um, but draw line doesn't actually do anything except for show. And show only comes into effect after you've enabled double buffering. We'll talk about that in a second. So um, I happen to have already built this. Uh, so I have written a function, uh, a method down here uh, that does that actually draws a solution. I wouldn't show you that because I don't want to rob anybody of the joy of building this program. But um, now you'll see it's going to draw these two uh, cross, you know, an X, and then it's going to draw this sort of receding set of lines as it uh, draws this hallway. And that takes a while. Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to watch it draw sometimes. Um, but if we want to speed it up, we can say standard draw enable double buffering. And what that will do is it will defer all the little dots that we're drawing and uh, wait for a show to make them actually show up. So now if I run this, um, it's going to draw much quicker. Now we could uh, optimize it further by not calling a show here, um, but it seems like a fine thing to just run it this way. Now, if you uh, got zealous when you came in here and you're like, all right, let's delete that comment. We don't need it anymore. And we deleted all these lines. And then I went to run it. Um, nothing would show up. That's because enable double buffering here is uh, deferring the drawing that we're doing in draw solution uh, until someone calls show. And so uh, if I bring that back, it will show up again, OK? Um, when you're done with that, you can come over here to Interactive Lines. And you can press the mouse button down, drag. And when you release, it'll draw a line between those two points, right? And so I press, drag, release, press, drag, release, press, drag, release. And then you see we're doing the dots again. If you wanted to speed this up, for example, um, the same technique would work. We could say standard draw dot enable double buffering right there. And if I run that now, when I press release, bam, it just sort of shows up. Bam. You can just imagine me playing tic tac toe right now. So hopefully this will help. Um, good luck with this extension. If you have any trouble, just reach out to us. We're happy to help.